Hey y'all, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a different uh, axe review or hatchet review uh, than normal and uh, I'm, I'm actually very excited about it. Uh, it is a carpenter's hatchet and so you can see this one I've been using it for a good number of years and it's just, it's a really handle, handy little axe. There are several different manufacturers that, that uh, manufacture similar type products. This one is made by Stube in Austria and um, a few years ago they uh, they had contacted us and, and kind of wanted us to to maybe deal in some of their axes and, and it just kind of you know sometimes things just fall through the door floor and uh, this was one of them but I think one of kind of the points that we didn't pick them up at the time is that they were not hand forged um, and you know that that there are fantastic axes out there that are not and we're going to get to that because I have used this sample axe many, many, many times. You can see I've got a lot of wear on here. I'll uh, just leave it in my workshop. Um, we keep it in the warehouse. Some of our shelving is made out of wood um, and just, just very handy axe. So let's go ahead and get to the review on it um, and I'm kind of excited. So we've got an overall handle length of uh, about 15 and a quarter inches got a um, blade width of just over, well, really just about four and a quarter inches, and um, got a fairly wide pull, about one and a half inches, and um, overall pretty good fit and finish. All right, so being that this was a, um, a sample axe to us, it started out just sitting in the uh, warehouse and um, so didn't really take the label off or anything, just kind of a grab to axe and it's just ended up getting a whole lot of wear, just kind of a clunker uh, axe, but really should not be. It's, it's a really fine, fine working tool. You can see the, um, the fit on the head is, is really nice. Um, and really what lends this axe, you can see here the bevel, the carpenter's axe or hatchet, the bevel is uh, just on the um, right hand side, so it makes it good for working down. Well, I'll get to that in just a second. So, like a traditional broad axe, the carpenter's a hatchet traditionally is beveled just on one side. Uh, they come in, in both uh, left and right beveled. Um, this one right here is a right hand bevel as you're holding it upright, so you'd be working down uh, from looking above the right hand side of say a timber, a log, or a board, or what have you, and that gives you almost like a, uh, a chisel um, type of a bite on the log and uh, so this is a right hand right hand bevel you can see um, because you'd be working on the right hand side of the log and um, we'll go ahead and give it a shot okay so as you can see once again as I was talking before it's got the um, the right hand bevel and so for working down on the right hand side of a log it's flat on the one side, which gives it um, almost like a chisel or a plane type of action. Um, the handle, uh, this is one of my favorite uh, parts of this, because the handle, they've even uh, put enough thought to put a little bit of a contour off to the right hand side. So if I was, you know, holding the axe back here, working on a large timber, or down like this, it keeps my knuckles out of the way. Um, it's got enough room here that I can really choke up on it if I'm, you know, working down the log here, a uh, wide enough blade that, once again, my knuckles are kind of out of the way. So, I really, uh, the design and thought out, you know, side of this axe, really like it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead, like I said, I'm just, I'm excited to be doing this review because I want to get into doing doing some of the reviews, some more of the reviews on the woodworking type axis. And that's that's a learning curve that I'm getting into as well, um, kind of a hobby of mine, as well as being very useful. Um, so let, let me go ahead. I've got this piece of willow here, and I'm going to point out just a couple, a couple little things. 
Um, first, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple slices here and show you a couple uh, techniques as well as reviewing the axe. So, <clears throat> I'm not really going to be making anything. This is just a log that is um, for, for this review. And so if I was to say just take my, my, my bites here, okay. So, there's a couple of uh, different issues that we're facing here as I work down on this. Um, one is, that is a nice feature, being able to really choke up on it because you can get that kind of planing action going on and get that smooth uh, type of finish. <clears throat> now, you probably noticed as I was working down here that I was getting some split out, and of course, Anybody who works with wood, you know the grain and everything, which if you're working with the grain, you're able to get that tear out. So here's a couple little techniques. If you are hewing, um, what a lot of people would do is you can take and, and make, um, I believe what they call these are like back back cuts. So you can see I've got this, um, a little bit of a curve in here. So I'm going to start be starting to go against the grain. So if I was to take that, you know, these next few hits here, I'm really getting this tear out. So what I could do, if I if I wanted to try to minimize that, is I could take and and uh, make a couple of these uh, uh, back cuts, and then as I come down, you can see it is. And that one right there, I need to go a little bit lower if I'm going to keep that up, but that minimizes that that grain tear out. Uh, didn't make my back cuts deep enough. Oh well, yeah, actually I did. All right. So, other thing that a uh, that a back cut is very useful for is if you know that you're wanting to stop at a certain place, um, you can put that in. But you can see how that would have functioned. <clears throat> I would have made the back cut and then my cut would have stopped right there. Very similar to drilling a hole you know, at the end of a cut and that way you don't have the, the split out. <clears throat> so, there, be more of a function out of the of it. So, very handy little ax. When I build shelves, a lot of times I'll build shelves, rustic shelves, and um, I, I can just notch, I can make like a back cut on either side of where I want, you know, my kind of my, uh, my tenon, I'll flatten off the end of a shelf, set it on here, and I can use the sax, I can take a couple wax, take a couple wax here, and then I can just almost use this as a wedge and just, and it splits it out. So, there are so many uses. I, I use this axe like I would use any other small hatchet. Um, just, uh, you know, limbing. Um, it's, it's really great. Um, I, it's got the little claw. I've even pulled nails with it. I'm not a fan of, of hatchets with uh, claws on them, but I have done that. Um, you know, against my, my better knowledge, um, I've even put in a few nails uh, and what have you with it and just works fantastic. <clears throat> now, if you want to go ahead, we'll go ahead and move over here and I'll show you another project that I'm working on and hope to get to some ads reviews as well. <clears throat> but um, uh, let's go ahead and jump over here. All right, so here's kind of a project of mine. Um, obviously, anybody who's doing uh, woodworking or what have you has got uh, several different types of shave horses. Um, I, I have several that I've built. Most of them I build are out of scrap. And um, I'll, I'll maybe get to using a draw knife on some of them. But this right here is my latest project. And I've actually, I say it's my latest project, but I've been working on it for about a year, just kind of here and there. And it is a bull horse. And uh, absolutely love the idea behind it. But, uh, and, and I have, I wish I could say that I did all of this by hand with an ax and, and what have you, but I did take the chainsaw to it. But let's go ahead and look at the seat. You know, I've got a lot of finishing left to do here. 
Um, now, okay, I guess before I move on to that, let me just go ahead and point out what makes this a bull horse, although you're going to see it in other videos when we get onto the ads. But whereas a shave horse, you would put the your, your item that you're clamping and holding on the bottom here, and then you would work like with a draw knife or a hatchet or whatever in this direction. This allows you to lock um, a bowl uh, that you're working on with the ads up here, and you can work in from the top. And so a very versatile tool. This is absolutely fantastic. You can even, I've got the holes here, you can move it down, and you can uh, lock even, even bowls or spindles in here in the long ways. But anyway, that's not the subject of this video. What I want to go ahead and do is see, I've got roughed out, I've got the seat area. <clears throat> and this, this, once again, is working almost like a carving chisel. I'm able to, um, to really get in here and uh, it bites in. I, I can use, use the back if I, if I want to, you know, not dig in quite as much. I can use my hand and I'm kind of using my hand almost as a gauge like you would on, on a plane. And once again, you know, there's that back cut. I can put a back cut in there and stop my cuts where I want to. And um, so I'll really be able to smooth uh, my seat area out and so as a carving axe you know it, it even functions as a carving axe um, there's just so many uses to it that they're really handy little axes and especially when you consider that they come in the left as well as the right um, this one is a 800 gram they come in 1100 grams um, highly recommend the Stube Stube tools um, let me go ahead and move on to the closing segment, and I'll go over that just slightly. Okay, so in closing, a uh, couple new things about this video. One, it was actually a carpenter's type of tool. Two, is uh, it's a stube. It's the first stube tool that we've reviewed. Um, so my overall impression, as you probably got from the review, is I'm really excited about this hatchet. Um, it's the style. Uh, the Carpenters, it just lends itself to, uh, to a great um, variety of, of jobs. Uh, I, I use this one almost as a clunker axe. Uh, fantastic. I grab it. I use it for just general chopping. Um, as you saw, it's fantastic for carpentry tri type of jobs. So, um, highly recommend the style. Now, there are several different brands in this. I'm going to go ahead and get into the Stube. Um, there are several different brands. There's some hand forged out there. I've used, you know, all of them. Uh, I, I recommend those. We'll maybe do some reviews on them. Um, I'm not going to say that Stube is special above the others. I do happen to like this Stube uh, one. The 800 size, it's a little bit smaller than some. Um, uh, the, the, uh, the Stube makes, I believe, a 900. Some of them go up to the 1100 gram heads. And, uh, but the Stube, they just really seems like they have gotten this ax very well proportioned. Uh, so highly recommend it. Stu the Stube company, as I said, that's something new for us and we're gonna be going ahead and uh, doing more reviews on some of their other axes. I, I believe that the Stube company is similar to a co-op of companies there in Austria. So some of the smaller companies have gotten together under the Stube name. And the Stube, um, you know, the Stube name, the Stube Valley there has been known for their steel production for years and years, uh, for centuries. And so most of the steel, I believe, still comes from the valley. These small companies get the steel and they're producing very fine axes. Um, but because of that, some of the quality varies between some of the axes I have found. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and get into that with some of them. But all their small axes, I'm pretty sure, are seem to be made by the same small co-op. And um, the fit and finish, as we went over, is very tight. Tolerances are real tight. Um, just a really good tool. Some of the larger ones, maybe there's a few issues. And as I review them, uh, you'll get an idea for what I'm talking about. The axes, uh, uh, just really, you won't be disappointed with this duvet tool. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and close out, be watching out as we do uh, not only more videos on some of the sport type axis, but uh, as well as uh, I'm excited to be doing the uh, woodworking type axis. And I appreciate you all for watching. If you want to check out some of our other videos, if you want to subscribe, if you would like us, if you want to check out our website, um, feel free to do so. We appreciate uh, everyone for watching and um, check back. Have a good afternoon and enjoy.